If you're determined to transform your life, it's crucial that you document success. And that's one of the reasons that I use this daily journal. It's the same strategy that empowered me through prison. It's the same strategy that I recommend that anybody going through a challenge use. It doesn't have to be this journal. It can just be some strategy of thinking about what am I doing today and how is it going to relate to what I want to become in the future. And I've always been, you know, showing the way that I do it. That's what I'm doing this year in 2021. I filmed these videos to send inside of, to people inside of jails and prisons because I want them to know, even though it may feel as if they don't have any resources around them, a person can always be working to develop uh, a skill set or develop resources that will help them um, advance their prospects for success. It was the decisions that I made while I was in prison during the 26 years that I served that put me on a pathway to begin uh, to be able to really recalibrate my life and, uh, and live a life of meaning and relevance and dignity, even though I made some really bad decisions as a young man. So I'm going to continue just you know showing you a little bit about what this journal does. You can get it uh, just uh, on our website by visiting the store. You can you can get it, or you can you can actually download. I think it's I think you can download a free copy from this. I'm not really sure of it, but the downloaded copy is going to look something like this. It's going to be a PDF, and if you download the PDF, you could print it and take it to some uh, give it to somebody who's in prison. In fact, it's easier for me to read like that on the screen than it would be for me to read in this book because my eyes aren't as good as they once were. So I'm gonna blow this up, put it on the screen, shrink myself down just so that I can share the way that this document looks. So the key is a person would have to write their day right here, the, the date. So this is the sixth day of the year, January the 6th, 2021. I'd kind of calculate, if I had this when I was still in prison, I would calculate how many days do I have remaining to serve. And the reason that I would wanna do that is because I always want to be holding myself accountable and working toward something uh, very specific. And, and I need to know how many days do I have remaining. And that's what this document does. It also includes in here a, um, a series of questions, open-ended questions. It starts with a, with a little annotation that talks about what are we going to learn today. And it says to build anything meaningful, we need tools. Sometimes those tools exist already. Sometimes we need to create the tools. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. We started it at 5 a.m. this morning on, I think today's Wednesday, January the 6th. It says we are going to pursue a self-directed path success. And to do that, we need to really think creatively about how to develop tools. And those tools should make us more efficient and lead us closer to success as we have defined success. So I want to task somebody who's going through a challenge to think about that. What, what tools exist around you? What can you create? The work that I'm showing you right here, this, this simple book, is um, would not have been possible for me to develop had I not used my time in prison to figure out how to put words into sentences and sentences into paragraphs and, and then uh, learn how to train my mind. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't have been able to uh, learn as easily how to use technology when I came home and to be able to develop uh, tools and resources like this. And so I try to show people, this is what worked for me. This is what I believe can work for you. And after giving a little bit of a lesson here that I hope will, people will find both inspiring and useful, I give them some tasks or some, some uh, you know, activities to pursue that are going to help them develop their critical thinking skills and help them develop their ability to grow even though they're living in the midst of um, what some may consider to be struggle or a challenge. And then each one of these days, I include a series of open-ended questions. What tools have you developed to get a better outcome at any time in your life? What tools are you working to develop now? So, and then each time we include a, a, a vocabulary word with hopes of helping people develop their vocabulary. And then there are three uh, separate questions that, that, that somebody can answer. So rather than you know, just going over it, I'll actually show you some of the tools that I am working on right now. I've been profiling over the past couple of days uh, the work I'm doing to develop compliance mitigation, but every day I have to develop new tools. And I'll, I wanna show you what I developed yesterday and what I'm going to be working to develop today uh, and over the days and weeks to come. So one of the cool things that I developed down here is this is the footer of the site. And on the lower side, if I click right here, 
I will go to the corporate information. So anytime I need to find anything about our business or anybody else needs to find anything out of this, all, they can find all the information, all the relevant information right here. And that's, that's public information. So, you know, I don't have a problem sharing it all. It's got my uh, employer ID number, my DUNS number, all of the registrations that I have to do in order to do business legitimately um, anywhere in the United States or, or in the world for that matter, but we're pretty much a, a US corporation. Um, I provide all of my contact information there and information really that anybody uh, needs to use. So in the footer, I, I include that information. I include information for people with whom I do business that may need to um, look at my tax information if, if, they're, if, I, if I've got a taxable issue with them. For people I hire, I've got information for them to download so that they can provide me with their tax information. And then I even got a, a, an offer here for jobs that we create. So we provide income opportunities for formerly incarcerated people that have the skill set to write uh, ju uh, case studies for, for this business. And you see I'm offering $200 to, to anybody who produces these kinds of case studies. And this is how I build a business, right? I need a team around me. I can't do everything. So I show people, well, what does excellence look like? What am I, what am I looking to accomplish? So I developed this tool that I could really easily distribute to anybody and it shows what what I'm expecting. I'm expecting people to know how to write in the present tense voice, how to uh, make minimal use of verbs such as you know the, what are called to be verbs, is, are, was, and focus on using really strong verbs. So I wouldn't have known how to do that when I first started in my prison sentence. It really was the the commitment I made to developing skills as a writer and as a communicator while I was in prison. That, 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 that trained me how to think this way and how to develop case study formats like I'm doing here, how to develop a compensation plan and figure out what, what am I getting here? And, and I'm saying, well, you know, I'm looking for 1,500 or 2,000 words. Um, it's, it, it sounds like a lot, but when, when I provide you with the, the exact way to do it, it generally takes me about three hours to write one of these case studies. And, and I provide a template here of exactly how it's supposed to look. So this is a tool. When I say develop a tool, a tactic, and a resource, this is an example of a tool. It tells somebody exactly what I'm expecting, how to do it. It talks about the audience that we're looking to reach, common terms, current state, future state, situation, uh, background, an analysis, a recommendation, and then a quiz because I've built some technology or our team, we've built technology so that somebody can take a quiz. After they take a quiz, they get a certificate. They can use that certificate to provide to their uh, employer. And that strategy is, is one way that I can demonstrate the value um, we provide to, to our customers, but also I show customers how this investment is going to protect them. That's why because it's going to be an investment in their compliance. And then I give an example of a case study um, and how I write this case study. So I pay $200 for anybody who can produce one of these, but I know that I need to get you know hundreds of these. So I, I need to produce them at scale. So they all have to be very specific and I write exactly how I wrote it, I wrote the, the learning objectives that we're trying to accomplish. I write the intended audience, common terms, what's in the current state, um, what's, what do I want it to become. Um, I write about, a, this is called a simple S-bar analysis, a situation where I describe the situation. I provide the background of what happened. I provide links so that people can find the background. I provide an analysis. What did I really learn from this? What, 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 are, what should you learn from this? And, and then I provide a recommendation. You know, what, what should somebody be doing? And then, and then there's this quiz. And, and in this case, I also give the answers to the quiz. They wouldn't get that if somebody was going through the course. But this is an example of how I am working all the time. Um, then I created all, so I, we've got all these case studies right here in the sidebar. And every one of these case studies would or should also have a, um, uh, a, a series of, of audio or video format. So there's a tremendous amount of work that needs to be done to really provide a best-in-class training mechanism that will help uh, business leaders understand 
um, strategies that they can use to avoid the complication and expense of a government investigation. That's really what our, our business is about. And of course, if somebody does get trapped in something like that, well, we want to provide them with tools that will help them. But that's what I did yesterday is I, I spent a lot of time working on the website in addition to other you know, responsibilities that come with running a business. But today's episode is really talking about, well, how do you develop those tools, tactics, and resources going forward? So I'm showing you what I'm working on right now is I have to be able to show people how we operate, what we do, because we're in the business of helping other businesses tell their story and grow in such a way that they can um, grow without impediments of government investigations or or, or, or the risk of uh, uh, being charged with white collar crimes. So I showed them, hey, we never ask you to do anything that we don't do. So let me show you our pathway and what we're doing. And this is a, an example of, I uh, see I've got some formatting work to do here, of what a policy and procedures manual looks like. And I think every company should really take the time to, to identify this. This is uh, something you see in best in class organizations. And if we haven't, if we recognize these are important, but we haven't taken the time to do this, to really write our corporate story, then we're on weaker ground than if we operate in complete transparency. So there's a tremendous amount of work here. I'm very grateful to our team that's the, the, that I'm working with closely to develop this. Um, my role as the CEO of the company is really going to be to document everything that we're doing. What's the purpose of the document? What's the policy summary? Who is this policy for? And you know what I'm really trying to, to, to articulate with this document is going to be to show these are the strategies that we use to build a great business. And we're not going to tell you as a customer to, to do this if we're not doing it ourselves. And I need to show you. That's what transparency is all about. And you know, part of my transparency is to show people who are living in challenges, how do you become more successful? How do you lift yourself up? Well, as we wrote about in the Daily Journal, you've got to be able and willing to document your strategy. You've got to be uh, determined to show other people that you're not you know, a travel agent, so to speak, telling people which way to go. You're a tour guide. You're somebody who, who not only has done it, but you're still doing it. And so if, if, if you want to follow that path and, and learn how I'm using that every day, you know, we, I encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching this outside. If you're inside of a jail or a prison, uh, look at inside. You're, you'll see that I, that I do this every day. Um, but you can always visit our websites and just see how they develop and how much work is, is required and what steps we have to take to grow and to build and to build a company that doesn't currently exist, but what we intend to exist. How do we solve pain points and problems for customers? Uh, that's the value proposition that we offer by showing them how to avoid a government investigation or how to create and engineer mitigation strategies that will get them, that will get them through this journey. It's now 5.13 in the morning, so I've, I've been at this a, a, about as long as I'm willing to go before I've got to get back to work. I um, just want to produce this video and encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Visit us at uh, prisonprofessors.com, or if you want to look at our new company, visit us at compliancemitigation.com. Um, we're always striving to, to be the change that we want to see in the world. My name is Michael Santos, and I want to thank you for being a part of our community. And uh, I, I will look forward to uh, sharing with you tomorrow the steps that I have done today. And so I'm signing off at 514 in the morning. Um, you can get our information in our show notes. You can subscribe right there on the banner. If you want information just on the banner, you click the little uh, get information or something like that or get resources. And you can get resources today with hopes that they will help you as you move forward uh, towards success in your life. Thanks.